I came to photography through Instagram. The things that I like to take photographs of is quite diverse. Panasonic reached out to me and asked whether I would be willing to go along with a team of photographers to Laos to work with a program there called My Library. And they asked whether I'd be part of the program to teach the students there. The library's been here for 14 years. I started it because I saw a lot of kids here trying to learn without access to anything. English classes were being taught on a blackboard. Teachers had their notebooks from when they studied and there were no real books. It started as a project to help kids who were studying English, but immediately we had kids who weren't interested in English, but they just wanted to know more about the world. Many of our students come from very poor families, from dirt floor bamboo houses. And so I turned it into a great experiment in how to give people access to whatever they need to figure out who they are, what they want to do with their life, and create a better future. Harold's got all this camera gear, different brands, different lenses, some of it's old, some of it's new, and it's hard for her students to actually learn about photography when the gear's changing the whole time. What would help her the best is to have a whole bunch of cameras that are the same, that she can simply take a lens from one, put it onto another, and just keep going. And so I had an idea as to how we might be able to bring a bunch of cameras to her, and also help to teach them how to use the gear and spend some time with her students. I found photography to be important for a couple of reasons. All the photos published on Luang Prabang originally were made by foreigners. And so I thought it was important for Lao people to be able to tell their own stories in their own way. Ewan brought a team of photographers, two photographers and a videographer over to do some workshops to work with our young Lao photographers. Carol chose four of her best students. When I met the students, we did a little presentation and everyone got up and shared a little bit about their work and their ideas as to how they approach photography. When we planned what we were doing this week, I was trying to find things that would inspire people and give them opportunity to express the craft and to practice. Four students will have benefited in many different ways. One way is with their own personal skills on the camera those they'll be able to share in teaching with the other students. I think working with foreign photographers who are much more active in their style will also be a big influence on how they shoot in the future. I think it will give them permission to shoot in a more creative way. One of the things I try and do is look for the spark in their eyes and to see that they're actually interested in what they're doing. And I think that was something that I was able to contribute to their learning this week and to add value to the team. Ewan was able to accomplish above and beyond what I ever expected. Lumix donated several camera sets with matching lenses. Part of what my project is about is believing that everybody deserves an opportunity to improve themselves and their lives and their community. And good tools are a part of that opportunity, so I'm extremely grateful that the tools will not hold them back. My biggest dream for the library is the youth are able to find their passions and their dreams and develop them. Many times the kids don't know what they're interested in. And when they start to interact in an area that is natural for them, be it photography or math, it's like watching a hungry kid eat. They just can't get enough of the opportunity that they've never had. The most powerful part of this trip actually was nothing to do with the photography for me. It was actually seeing how important education is to these students and seeing how much knowledge we take for granted coming from our schooling systems. What Carol is doing with my library is way more important than just the photography part of it. Carol actually is giving these kids hope.